I am explaining and demonstrating the single leg stance banded hip circuit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a loop band. You can order some pre-made loop bands or you can just tie a resistance band into a loop and um, adjust the resistance. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the band on one foot where you're standing on it and then around the other ankle. The leg that you have it around the ankle is the moving leg and I will show you in just a moment. But with the band around you, you're going to do 10 out to the side with the knee straight and then 10 in a little um, angle backwards. And then you're gonna go straight into knee flexion to extension with the leg straight. So again, I'm gonna show you in just a moment, but the whole time you're staying on the one leg for all three um, different types of exercise, 10 reps of them, and you're focusing on the pelvic floor at all times, pulling up and in, really holding, zippering up and in. So it's a great core exercise um, to activate your hips, but it's also really focusing on the pelvic floor at the same time. So you're gonna get your loop band. On one foot, you're gonna step on it, and then the other foot is gonna go in it and it's gonna be around the ankle. So as you can see, this foot I'm standing on it and then the other foot is around my ankle. Go into a little bit of a squat, hold the pelvic floor up and in, do your little tuck, really the pubic bone coming up to the belly button, hold right there. And then you're gonna balance on the leg that's standing on the band and you're gonna go out to the side, trying to keep the knee straight the whole time. Don't let your toes turn out. Then you're working your hip flexor more. You wanna turn almost your to toes in, so you work more of those glute muscles, the hip muscles here. Okay, so you're holding the pelvic floor up and in, really balancing. If you need some help with some balance, just grab onto a chair nearby, that's fine. 10 out to the side, and then you go straight into this little 10 straight back, uh, not straight back, at a little angle back. Once you finish 10 of those, you go straight into a little hip flexion, and then extend. So you're doing a little bit of a deadlift. So you go from this hip flexion and then straight back like that. Okay, so knee flexed, and then you straighten your knee all the way back and a little bit of a bend for hinge forward at the hip, like that. Once you do all three of those, you switch. Put it around the foot, the new, the other foot, and then step on it with the other side. So little tuck, engage your pelvic floor, out to the side, 10 at the angle 10, and then flex and back. Try to keep your balance, flex and back. Focusing on keeping that pelvic floor up and in the entire time.